Ah, the good old USB hub's not supported. Please remove error. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is another video on the Fix-It channel. This is not going to be a Fix-It video, but rather a short video for a very specialized circumstances that may help some people out here. I have a 2013 Ford C-Max that originally came with the uh, the Sync version 2, uh, as you can tell by this badge because it was Sync powered by Microsoft at the time. I upgraded it to a Sync 3 unit, uh, which is possible to do, and you can use different tools like Forescan and things like that to reprogram your, your module if you can get a hold of a module. You have to get the whole new screen. You got to get the APIM module that goes with it. You got to reprogram it to your car. Uh, you can successfully upgrade to Sync 3, which I have done, mainly so I could use Android Auto because I have an Android phone, and it has worked wonderfully for the last multiple years. The one problem with doing that is if you use the original USB ports that come with the car, you can use Android Auto just fine, but you get this nagging error every single time you turn on the car. Unfortunately, what I understand is uh, CarPlay, Apple CarPlay does not work with the old USB port and USB hub. I don't have an Apple phone to even test that, but uh, people say that you have to change the, the hub if you want to use Apple CarPlay, but you can still use the same hub if you have Android Auto. You just get this nagging error every time. The solution to that is to buy the new hub and you got to buy an adapter. And I think the hubs could cost anywhere from like $80 to $100 an adapter for the power because it's a different power connector costs like 15 to 20 bucks. It's a lot of money to spend just to get rid of an error that all you have to do is hit close and everything works fine. However, I have figured out a solution with the help of some people online, but I've never seen a video on it. I just caught it in a forum and I figure I will show you guys in case this meets your needs and situation. If you find where your USB connections are, which this is mine in here in the glove box in the 2013 Ford C-Max, uh, you can tell it's loose because I have it pulled out already to do this testing. Let me turn the car off as well so that I'm not doing any damage to this thing. Uh, you can remove your old hub by taking the faceplate off first because that's actually what holds it on. And then you can remove the unit. Hard to do with one hand, but you'll see. There's two connectors in it. This connector over here is for power, and I believe these old vehicles used to be able to use a, an RCA inputs to see certain things, uh, but you can't do that on the Sync 3 screen anyway, so they do nothing. But then there's also the plug that runs the, the power, um, or the USB, I mean. So if you disconnect these, though, you can see this is just a standard connector for these cars that does power. This one, on the other hand, that runs the USB side of the world, and this is what I did not know and was amazed to find out. If you can disconnect it. All this is is a mini, a male mini USB port that goes straight to the head unit. So if you just remove this and get a standard old cable that has a mini usb female on one end and in some way gets to a, a a usb a female on the other end you can simply just plug this in to the usb port <laughs> simply plug it in one-handed to the usb port <laughs> hold on gotta put my phone down to actually make the connection all right, sorry about that. No trickery. Had to switch cameras because apparently every time Android Auto comes on, I was recording on my phone and it stops the recording. So it made some problems. But no trickery here. All I've done is, as you can see, I've taken this cord that was the USB cord. I've connected it to that dongle that I showed off, which is this right here. And I've connected it to my Android Auto. I use Android Auto Wireless. It is wonderful. If you don't have it, you can uh, see some videos on my channel about it as well. Uh, AA Wireless, it's been working great, but it's nice because even though it's going to look like a mess in there now, because I'm not going to have the factory stuff in there anymore, uh, I can just tuck this stuff away into my center console and then check this out. I turn on my car. And you will see, boom, I'm going to cancel out the video so you can't really see what my uh, where my address is or anything, but it's connected to my cell phone. Android Auto is already on and running through the wireless connection because it's it's that quick and easy. And there is no error that comes up anymore that says the connection or the hubs are not supported because it was just that easy to get rid of the hub and directly connect into that USB mini connector that goes straight to the screen. Will this work for Apple CarPlay? I don't know because I don't have one to test. My hunch would be that yes, it will work. Why do I think that? Because you can buy the other USB modules that still plug into that same port, the newer ones, to use Apple CarPlay with, and they supposedly work fine. So I can't imagine why hooking directly up into that USB cord would not allow Apple CarPlay to work, but I cannot guarantee that. If somebody does this and knows, let me know in the comments so I can update 
uh, this video or update a top comment or pin the comment or something like that. But if you're in the situation I was in where you upgraded from Sync 2 to Sync 3, if you want to get rid of that pesky air where the USB hubs are not supported, this is a very simple way to do this. I think I bought my uh, my cord that I have. I thought I bought it for like $7 from Amazon. Uh, and I, that was it. That was all there was to it. Plug it in. It's good. It doesn't look that pretty because I can just put it in there and uh, there's, there's going to be a big gaping hole here if I leave it out. I could modify this maybe to uh, run the cord through and cut a hole in here uh, to be able to use it. I could just use the old faceplate and like, you know, connect it to the end of this. I could make a new plastic bracket to put up here and just mount it in there. There's a lot of things that you can do. For now, I don't really mind that. That's something I can do for cosmetic purposes later. But... Either way, this is a great fix that I think is, uh, it's, <laughs> it's gonna get rid of that annoying error that I just have to get close on every time. Doesn't hurt anything if you wanna leave it there. I've used it for the last two years like this and it's been fine. It doesn't affect the functionality. It just was annoying. So I got rid of it now for very cheap and I hope that you can do the same if you're in the same boat. That's it. I'll see you next time.